what's going on guys welcome back to everyday minimalist my name is brandon and today we're looking at something awesome first of all i want to address we just hit 600 subscribers you guys are awesome thank you guys so much for all the love and support so today we are looking at these bad boys we've got the benchmade bug out titanium carbon fiber scales um, i looked on youtube there's not too much about them i don't think there's even a video out with these specific scales going on to the bug out now the reason why i wanted to grab some carbon fiber scales is because the bug out stock i don't know if you guys saw in that review with the frn handles they're just you know they're kind of in so i wanted to get something that's gonna be a little bit more robust even though if it adds on more weight it'll still be fine so we're going to match it up with this one. This is going to be the Benchmade Super Mini Freak. It has that carbon fiber scale already built in from factory with the red accents. Guys, I wanted to match it up because we've got the blue bug out <laughs> with the blue barrels. So uh, yeah, we'll have kind of like the brother to the Benchmade Super Mini Freak. And I'm really hyped about it. There are the differences between these factory Benchmade carbon fiber versus the Flytanium carbon fiber so we're going to go ahead and drop it down on the desk show you guys the weight differences and then we'll do a quick time lapse of me installing the new scales so we'll be right back so before we go ahead and swap out to the carbon fiber scales let's go ahead and weigh the bug out with the stock frn scales and uh, see what that kind of comes out to so we're going to grab our nifty little polar weight here zeroed out now and you're looking at about 1.9 ounces so that is the weight guys before we do go ahead and swap out to the scales so here's a close-up of the scales before we actually throw these bad boys on the bug out actually uses a t6 torque set for most of the smaller screws and then it uses a t8 torx set for the pivot um so those are the only two tools that you'll need you might need some blue loctite but um i've got that on hand let's go ahead and get into this i'll start the time lapse now All right, let's go ahead and pause real quick. So this is what the interior of a bug out looks like. You've got your access lock system, the blade itself, and then the barrel. So we'll go ahead and slap on this guy here, the titanium scale and kind of match everything up together. Um, I think this thing is gonna look super sexy. Guys, I'm really excited. Let's get back to it. Before we get any further, I'm gonna go ahead and just do hand tights here. Um, we're not gonna over tighten it or anything like that. So what we've done here is we've gone ahead and stuck in that T8 Torx screw. So that way that the washers on the interior don't get messed up. Oh my god it feels so good it looks so good <laughs> guys i'm so excited here oh my god stock frn handles there you go bam zeroed out 0.1 ounces guys so two ounces now i mean you're gaining a 0.1 ounces but guys holy crap
Okay, guys, we are back. Guys, this thing is a completely different knife. It was an $80 upgrade, totally worth it. It completely changed the way the knife actually feels in hand. This thing now feels robust, durable. You can still close it. The access lock is great. So the hardest part of installing these scales were gonna be that pivot screw here. So essentially, or I guess pivot pin, there is two bronze washers built into the access lock system and you have to have it perfectly aligned with that pivot pin. But look at this thing, it is absolutely gorgeous now. You've got the blue barrels, you've got the blue thumb studs, you've got the S30V steel and now carbon fiber handles or scales i got these scales off of blade hq um they're still in stock at the time of this recording you know try to get your hands on them it will literally change the entire aspect of what you think your bug out is and then now my favorite knife has a brother so here we go that's what they look like side by side here's the bench made super mini freak you've got the red barrels on this guy the blue barrels on this guy <sighs> it's a dream it's a dream change the knife entirely like check that out now we've got kind of a, a theme going here so we've got red versus blue and i will definitely take some pictures guys if you enjoyed this content here on youtube go ahead hit that subscribe button ring that bell icon if you guys think i should get different scales and do more tutorials like this um just let me know in the comments below if you guys would like to see photos of these two knives go ahead go to my instagram profile it's just gonna be every dot day dot minimalist and then you guys can see all of the awesome shots i've got there thank you guys so much for dropping by today and we'll catch you on the next one peace out